Hi, this is Dr. Tracy Zhang, and today I'd like to talk to you about using GIMP. GIMP is an open source, free manipulation program for images, and it really does an amazing amount of things. So we're going to talk about two of the very simple techniques that you can do in GIMP today. We're going to look at using the free select tool and the move tool. So to do that first you have to open a picture so to do that you'll go to open open file and it'll pull up your images and that sort of thing I already have a picture open and ready to go so we're going to use this picture here of a British phone booth that's out in the middle of the countryside I took this when I was over living overseas and I'm going to make sure that we've got the GIMP program activated as you can see here and what we're going to do first is, now that we have our picture open, is select the free select tool. On your left sidebar, you can see that there are a number of tools there, because GIMP has many capabilities. To find the free select tool, look for one that looks like a little lasso. Uh, some other image programs actually use a tool that they call the lasso tool. Uh, in this program, it's called the free select tool. So I'm going to left click on the free select tool and now you can see that my mouse arrow also has a little lasso attached to it to indicate to you that that's the active tool. So we're going to come over to the phone booth and I'm going to click on several points and connect them until we have a complete outline and then we'll cut that out of this picture and paste it into another. So I left click on the first point, go to the second area that I want to left that I want to cut out and I'll left click on that. And as you left click, you can see that it highlights with bright yellow. Now, we'll continue the outline all the way up to the top of the phone booth. Now when I reach the top of the phone booth, this is a little bit more complex because it's not a nice rectangle in this area. A straight line will definitely cut off a good part of the image. So we're going to left click and make sure that that's activated. And we're going to drag all the way across the top. And when you release the left mouse, now you have the area ready to go. And I'm going to bring it down to this other point where I began the outline and left click again. As I complete the outline using the free select tool, notice that it comes up with a black and white moving image that indicates to you that this is the area that you're going to be cutting out. Next, navigate up to edit, move down to cut, and click cut. Now you can see that the image is completely cut out of that image. I have another picture ready and waiting. This is of a backyard on South Park Street. And if you don't have one, again, go up to File and Open, and that will take you to the menu for that. So now, notice I also still have the lasso tool active. I don't really want the lasso tool active. Uh, what we're going to do is go up to Edit and hit Paste. And that pastes the object into the new picture. So you can see that it all now has, it still has the lasso. So let's go over and select a different tool. I would like to move this phone booth from the center of the picture, which is where GIMP automatically places it. I would like to move the phone booth over to a different part of the yard. So once I've clicked on the Move tool, which looks like four arrows in a cross shape pointing in four different directions, I'm going to go back to the phone booth, left click on it, and now I can move it to different parts of the yard. So you can see I can move it around, try it out, see where I like having the phone booth the best. I think we'll put it here. Now, with this object, you may decide that you would like to have it a different size. 
So in order to do that, we're going to need to use the Scale tool. So right below the Move tool that we just used is the Scale tool. Now when I highlight the object using left click, you can see that it comes up with handles. So I can use the numerical values as placed above, or I can use the handlebars, which I like the handlebars much better. So we've rescaled the object. All right, that concludes our video on GIMP, and I hope to see you again.